Welcome back, everybody, to the Flow Track Podcast. We're recording this on location inside the Albuquerque Convention Center. And right now, behind us, things are Happening. progressing as normal. It looks like a regular track meet, but in the sports world at large, it's been anything but normal. Gordon Mack joins me. There's been cancellations pretty much top to bottom in the sports world, but as of now, there's an indoor championships to be had tomorrow. Yeah, and if you're listening, you probably hear some background audio of jumping and some sprints on the 200 meter bank track. It, I mean, everyone is here. It's like a typical pre-meet day mm -hmm. yep. here in Albuquerque. You saw the coaches lining up to get their credentials for their athletes. We got our credential. Everything seemed normal. Everything in the airport seemed normal. But if you look on your phone, it is definitely not normal. Yeah, so everybody knows by now all the cancellations. Before we started recording, Gordon, you just told me that Duke and Kansas basketball teams have pulled out not of their conference tournament, but of the NCAA meeting. Yeah, and they, they, they basically suspended all athletic activity indefinitely. Yeah. Kansas is done athletically, so the Kansas Relays is now gone. Uh, Stanford Invitational was just canceled. Mm -hmm. So the Colonial Athletic uh, Association and the Ivy League have both canceled spring sports. So I was talking to a coach, and basically outdoor track is just vanishing yep. at, at minute by minute. And th there's still a chance, obviously, this meet could be canceled. Originally, they were just limiting it to families and essential personnel. That changed this morning, which seems like 10 hours ago at this point, to not include families at all. So now we're just down to essential personnel, which is essentially athletes, coaches, media, meet officials. Yeah. That's it. However, there is a, and this, is, this might outdate the podcast completely because there's a coaches meeting going on at 4 p.m. Yeah. local time, recording this around noon local time. Um, where there might a, a you know something might change at that point. We've heard from a couple of different people that it potentially, if there is something that's going to happen, it's going to happen then. It is wild. Like it's definitely all a domino effect. It all started, I think, because of the NBA uh, pulling out, like suspending their season. And once something that big, that large, that ingrained mm -hmm. in the you know the, the, this time the culture, of year, yeah. the culture, if they're willing to pull the trigger, then everyone just looks weird for not pulling the tr not pulling the plug mm -hmm. i could say you know nhl didn't pull the plug right away but then they uh, 24 hours later did yeah now all these basketball tournaments are pulling the plug this is the weekend for conference basketball mm -hmm. you know one pull the plug even at halftime you know of one of the games one right? of the games yeah. big east so all this is happening and we probably think the end of it is going to be nca pulling the plug on march madness and if they do that it, they're not they're most likely also going to pull the plug on this meet right here yes. right so yes. The question is, will NCA wait till after Saturday to pull the plug? Mm -hmm. Are they going to do it? You think they're going to probably pull the plug, you know, either today or tomorrow, well, if anything. Right? And let's let's look at a situation that happened last night in the NBA, right? Right before they're set to take the court, a uh, game between the Jazz and the Thunder, news gets out that Jazz center Rudy Gobert tested positive. I mean, in a, I mean what, what, what would be the reaction, what would be the response if something like that happened in the course of a track meet, which is entirely possible, right? Like something like that could happen. So, I mean, I get the frustration for everybody, but it's, you're right, everything looks normal down there, but like everything else has been surreal to witness. We talked to Makai Harris's family. They're from Norfolk, Virginia. We saw them waiting in line, a very long line, might I add, to get a rental car. Um, not- And it wasn't long, it was just a, there's like Very four people process. in the line, yeah. but it just and, took forever. And I get that that's low down on the priority list, but I just wanted to note that they came all the way from Norfolk, Virginia, his aunt, his mother, his father, and his girlfriend. And they were just at a, they were trying to figure out what to do. They were going to go check into the hotel and just see what would happen. Um, you know, his mom was just like, hey, if they were going to do something, they you know, say, give us a little bit more warning. Don't wait till everybody's here yeah. um, to announce it because when we got on the flight, and our flight from Austin was only two hours. When we got on the flight, it was parents can come. Yeah. Plane landed, parents cannot come. And we had a relatively short flight. So if you're flying across from the East Coast and you really feel bad you know, for those parents, someone like Harris, he's got a national title. Yeah. On the line, particularly his first national title. They're obviously fired up to see him run. They want, I want to see him cross the finish line uh, first. I know you mentioned some parents might end up going to re nearby restaurants to catch the meat if the meat happens. This is all big if. I mean, and it's not just about this meat. Like we said earlier, like, Outdoor track meets are dropping like flies. Yeah, yeah. This could be the end of collegiate of the collegiate year of 2020. Yeah. Like we might not have, and it, it also kind of affects the pro scene because a lot of pros race at collegiate meets. Yeah. You know they're not they can't go to Europe right now, right? Because mm -hmm. that the, that travel ban. So 
all that stuff, like it's really putting a halt to the sports, sports in general. Yeah. But like things like NBA, like they can be like, all right, we're taking a two month break and we're gonna yeah. act like everything is back to normal. You can't take a two month break when it comes to collegiate athletics. Like you have to either do it or you don't do it. Yeah, because there's multiple sports. Multiple sports and also like, we're not gonna be having the NCAA indoor track meet in May. We're not gonna have the outdoor NCAA meet in September. Like, yeah. Once school's over, right. no more college track. So. Right. Well, they had talked, we saw some reporting, I'm sorry, I don't know who it is, but there was some reporting that uh, Boston Marathon was looking at moving it to September, which again, that's a one-off race. So that's a totally different situation than, than a series of spring sports, which is what we have here. And, you know, we were talking about, imagine if like the Olympic trials were this weekend. The marathon trials. The, yeah, the marathon Olympic I mean, trials. Or the, or the track or trials. trials. Yeah, yeah, either one. But like, what would happen, right? It would be... Would they be holding it? And I, if you delay that, then yeah, I don't. I, I think with a situation like that, maybe you would have tried to go with the, the no spectator route, like the yeah. Tokyo Marathon did, and use that as as a template. But I, if you're looking at this from like a holistic sports perspective, it's like, well, you you said yes to this person. Why didn't you say yes to this person? You said no to this person. Why didn't you say no to that person? Yeah. Like, you know, why we think the Olympic marathon trials are super duper important. But I bet people involved in hockey think the NHL season is yeah. the most important thing, and MLS, and it goes yeah. on down the line, right? So, I mean, listening to kind of what scientists or experts are saying, it's like this could be contained in a couple months. But in order for that to happen, you got to shut it down yeah. now. So you could have a pleasant summer. The thing is, is yeah, the summer would work in the NBA. The summer wouldn't work for collegiate sports, collegiate yeah, athletics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's weird, you know, because a lot of times you're thinking like. Like everything here is normal, right? And it, the interesting thing about the coronavirus is that it's not like a day of the dead. Like, well, that's, that's not like it to spread so much. But no, right? but it, it's not like a zombie. Like you start seeing people turn, and yeah, you yeah. know, it's a it's a sickness. So like you, life feels normal, right? Because yes, yeah. everyone around you is just normal, like smile, mm -hmm. like. But all of a sudden, you see someone blow their nose, and now you're thinking, like, "Ooh, what does that mean?" Mm -hmm. Right? But yeah. Yeah. Three months ago, if I saw someone blow their nose. I didn't think anything of it. Right. 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 And it's also weird here because it's like it smells like Purell in here. You noticed that when we walked in. Yeah. Well, also it's weird. Like, right now, there's a bunch of people in there. Yeah. In, a, in an enclosed environment, all running around on a track. Mm -hmm. If we're doing this now, why is it not okay to do it tomorrow? Right. You have like mm -hmm. that. We're like, but I guess you say sunk cost factor, right? Where you say you're waiting in line forever. You might as well. Yeah. Either, right. It's yeah. like. The best time to cancel it was yesterday, and then the best time before that was the day before, and the best time before that, yeah. day before that, and each time you get closer and closer. Like these basketball tournaments, there's no way they wanted to go out at halftime and say, "Yeah, the game's over." That's like yeah. terrible. That's like the worst scenario possible. But that's since we've been kind of behind on this from the beginning, that's what we've been pushed into. And yeah, and like if you had told these parents a couple days ago, right, when it was. Well, how many days ago was that when it was no other spectators? Is that just yesterday? Is that two days ago? Maybe two days ago? Sorry, I'm losing track of time. At that point, if there were like no spectators at all, period, the, the people like the folks we met, I think would they'd be upset, but they'd at least understand that they wouldn't have flown all the way across the country and paid money to be here. And also there's something different about canceling a, a conference championship versus a national championship, yes, right? Yes. So like that is a little different, you know. I mean, right now the, the Division Two and Division Three track championships are still going on. Like, they are okay. No one's talking about that right now, right? So, yeah. uh, it's just weird, right? Part of me wants the meet to still happen, right? I kind of be like, just do it and then yeah. cancel spring, right? Because a lot of these cancellations are all about thinking in like futures, long like yeah, long term. Yeah. Spring is like, you know, what is an extra two days in Albuquerque? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. The the odds of this meet being held and it starting uh, an extra two million deaths, I don't think is that likely. Maybe maybe, but maybe it's one death and one death is worth preventing, right? We just don't know. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. We don't. The out, range of outcomes is so large, and I mean, when Duke says we're not going to play basketball, yeah, that's powerful. It is. That's powerful. Not and just Kansas for basketball. Yeah. They're both important, I guess. Yeah, they're I both blue bloods. I wasn't making a pro Duke argument. Yeah, a um, little bit. 
that's powerful. That carries weight, and yeah. I don't. Th- I think th- I think the NCAA basketball tournament is going to be canceled any moment now. We're yeah. Gonna get, we're going to get a text. We're going to get a tweet, um, and then that's going to be the next domino to fall. And then I don't know why. And it's also do this, other than we're already here, and they might yeah. just say, "Hey, well, they're already there. Let's just do it. Well, well, let's just have this meet." Maybe it's a situation where, like, outdoors probably, like you're saying, outdoors is dwindling yeah. by the day. It's the last one. Well, you also have to think about, like, there's, I mean, the factor of people are making these cancellations out of health concerns, but there's also a, a factor of, like, you don't want to be the one not to cancel. Right? Yeah, there's because a then social, if something happens, then it's, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think the, the NBA, I mean, Rudy Gobert started the domino. Yeah. I mean, after that, then. Or was it Harvard? Harvard? No, Harvard didn't start. The Harvard Milers? No. No, that was. I mean, a? that. I mean, they're probably like thinking like, in a weird twisted way to like, if it meets canceled, then they didn't get cut from the meet in a way, you know? Because yeah, the whole thing got dropped. Yeah. I mean, so right what now. What are your thoughts on Harvard scratching and not even sending them here? I mean, at the time you're like, okay, like, there was no shared cost there. They were the only ones having to pay the price for this thing. And obviously they did nothing wrong. And it would be a lot easier to stomach if you're one of those runners, if, okay, the whole meet gets canceled. And yeah, it sucks for you, but also sucks for everybody else. That's how I felt yesterday when the news broke. Now, with where we're at, I just feel like so much of this has changed. And I, I mean, it seems like at least, a, at least a wise decision. I mean, it's Harvard. They think, the, I'm assuming they're thinking these things through. Yeah. You mentioned your alma mater, Johns Hopkins, right? Yeah. And they're, they're the ones where you get a lot of this data from about what's going on. I Hopkins, guess that should, should have been a bigger red flag when you told me they said, what, no spectators at the D3 yeah. basketball tournament, Also, right? Johns Hopkins suspended, like, spring sports through, like, mid-April. Right, so that means something. Like, I don't think Johns Hopkins is out there, like, and you went there, so you can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think Johns Hopkins is out there bending to the will of public pressure. Like, no one's living and dying on, on whether or not Johns Hopkins is spring sports happen like I think they have a lot of access to information so again sorry about the loud noises if you're watching it it probably makes more sense but we're in a Albuquerque facility they're they're setting up I mean the broadcast people are setting up they're testing their equipment again things are acting like they're normal but what I was saying is uh shoot I forgot what I was gonna say I mean if you had to guess right now and this is a silly exercise but do you think the meet's going on it's hard to say it's going to be canceled because they're literally setting up for it right now. But then there's what's going on the outside of this. I think the meet's going to get canceled, and I don't want it to, but I think it is. Yeah. I remember what I was going to say. These cancellations of these sporting events, the people who are making decisions, how many of them come from an athletic background? I mean, I you know, because the Duke University... But see, is that it's not Coach K being like, hey, we're not going. It's not Coach K, but if you're the president at Duke, if you're a provost at Duke, your identity yeah. is basketball. Like, it's a very good academic school. I'm not saying that, but it's just like saying, um, you know, it's like it's like being unaware of like what canceling an Oregon track meet would mean mean for Oregon, right? Like, I feel like if you're in that position, it doesn't matter if you put on a jersey or not. Like, you know what's at stake. You know how many people are going to be uh, angry, upset, frustrated, sad whatever about it so I don't I don't know but also here's like a thing like we we cancel these events because being in large groups I guess has a multiplying chance, effect multiplying Spreads, effect yeah. but like is it canceling these large events still only a half measure in a way because like because we're in Albuquerque you talk about half measures full measures breaking bad reference yeah, yeah I got that, you didn't, even, that you didn't even need to explain that to me yeah, yeah. That. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but like you cancel this meet we're still putting all these people back on a plane. Yep. We're still putting them on a giant petri dish in a plane. Yep. We're still having them all go to a restaurant to eat dinner with their team dinner. Yeah. Like this, whether this event happens or not, everyone yeah. here is going to be interacting with people. They're not all going to be six feet from each other. Yeah. Right. You and I aren't right now. We we're, so. not. we're like. Well, here's the thing. So like. There's people at, but see, there are people advocating for a full measure here. I've seen people say, you know, don't eat like small gatherings. Don't even like. Put off that birthday or you know minimize the time you're in restaurants yeah. or gyms right don't go to like there is that line of thinking i'm guessing a half measure is at least better though than, than no, no measure, measure at yeah. this point which is which is where we're at i was just thinking about back to the to the basketball game though because what happened afterwards is all the players get tested donovan mitchell 
has it. So he's one of, has coronavirus, test positive. So he's one of like 12 people or 12, 13 people that they test. Before, they test like 40 people, like staff and well, all staff, that. Well, staff, right. Yeah. But, okay, so but they quarantine them. Now they're finding anybody that got, came into contact with Rudy Gobert. They're quarantining them. The planes that were used have been used by other NBA teams. The officials that were used. Okay, imagine a similar situation happens here, and it's like now you have to quarantine somebody in Albuquerque, like a student in, in Albuquerque who hasn't, like, who doesn't yeah. live here. Like, it just but my turns argument, into your head. But my argument is like, we're already together right now. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. We already broke the seal. Right. Well, but you don't want them going back. And I guess like with Harvard, it's like people are saying, well, they cancels or classes are canceled. But I guess it's more, it's like them not wanting to contribute to, to the actual problem and not wanting to like be part of um, what the medical community is saying isn't a good idea. That's, that, that's where I see it from, like yeah. what, what, what Harvard's doing. It got quiet for a second there. It I did. thought everybody left and it got canceled, but no, no, not no, they're canceled still going. Yet. Coaches meeting happening at four. Do we want to talk about the meet? I and mean, we got some good emails here about the meet, but it just feels silly to talk about, to talk uh, about that. Well, we might have to change the title to the hypothetical yeah. Well, here's the thing, though. It's, let's live in a world where they do cancel it. Like, what does that mean for like? What's like ripple effect of canceling this meet? On top of all the cancellations that happened in the spring, like, what happens to the sport of track and field because of this? I think it's put on pause. I think. I, I guess think, the entire 2020 season just wiped off I mean, the map. You look at the Diamond League schedule, and we Lincoln and I talked about it. Starts in May. It, uh, April actually. April. Starts early with Doha. Okay. You have two meets scheduled in China now. China has it under control enough to where the Chinese Basketball Association has called their players back because they put their whole season on hold yeah. and they call them back. Um, so does does that mean that they're good to go? Or is anybody going to want to go over there and yeah and and travel internationally? You have meets in France. You have meets in Italy, which I'm assuming the meet in Italy is not going to happen. Uh, you obviously have a domestic meet for pre. But here's the thing: when are all when when is it going to be deemed safe again? Like, well, it depends. that's why it depends when we when we get our act together and get the tests and get people not. Yeah. That, I mean, that's why. So here's the thing: it's like short-term cost for long-term benefit, right? And I think what and maybe if they could go back in time, all these spring sports in February, and I don't I don't blame them because there was not a lot of information, not a lot of leadership on this. In February, they said, "Hey, look, like we're shutting down college basketball for like a month, right? But then we'll be back." We'll freeze the standings. You guys will play the conference tournaments, and then we'll do NCAA championships, yeah. and it'll be fine. People now obviously would take that trade off, but back then it would have seemed like such a strange idea. I think right now, if you shut stuff down, the the most optimistic headline is is you get it cleaned up before trials, right? And then you can have trials, and you can have the Olympics, which is still an obviously a huge question mark. But I mean, if you're going to save anything out of this track season, it's those two things, right? And I don't know how you figure out how people qualify or what they do to get there, but like. If you can get that out of the season, that's that's uh, that's the thing that most people are going to be looking for. But I mean, we're looking at a situation where this could stretch into the summer, and then it's the Olympics. Olympics, is Olympics. Gone. Yeah, yeah. And the Olympics. I mean, that's a different. Th- then we're going international, right? And then you, then you're relying on um, all these other countries and stuff, right? Yeah. And you're interacting with all. I mean, if the Olympics were in May, they'd be canceled, right? I think yeah. That's that's pretty clear to say. I think the only thing that's uh, leaving this in doubt is because it's late, a late July. Away, yeah, right? yeah. It's first week of August, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think the opening ceremonies are very, very end of July. Very very end of the track portion is first week. Of yes, August. exactly. Oh yeah. So I think it's July twenty fourth. I think is. is I know that is. because the Olympic Games is the exact same time as the AA Junior Olympic Games. And there you go. And AAU Indoor Championships were canceled. Canceled. Yeah. New Balance Nationals was yep. canceled. Yep. Yep. I was surprised New Balance Nationals took that long because they were like, if you read the New Balance Nationals headlines, yeah. every time they posted like a start list, they would remind you, we're still doing it, we're still all in. I mean, and then eventually they're like, pulled the, they pulled the plug. Science, man. Uh, and that makes sense because the Armory, that is a petri dish, man. That place, you get sick just for smelling the air, regardless of there being a virus. Okay, uh, I got an email from the media folks. You want me to read this? Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Live, first time here. So things are changing by the hour. Here's what they know as of 12:20. The press conference is still on for 3 p.m. Okay. Uh, so no, it's not canceled yet. Yeah. Um, it says media is still allowed. 
Uh, I mean, media here, it's like tw it's like five people. And it says, so. fo yeah, photo positions and mix zone access will be adjusted, and those policies will be communicated at the photographer's meeting at 3 p.m. or in the mix zone throughout the competition. And then they reiterate things are changing by the hour. So, I again, mean, it's this, not going to be an NCA track committee decision. It's going to be coming from NCA the head honcho, Mark Emmer. Mark Emmer. Like, yeah. I think that NCA track division, whatever, however the, the structure is, they are just doing everything they can to do it as they said. Yeah. And only don't they're not going to pull the, the plug. The people who pull the plug is going to be Mark Emmer, right? Yeah. And the question is, does he pull the plug? today on March Madness? Because it's, it's basically going to be, when this meet will only get canceled if they cancel March Madness. That's what you think? Yeah. Okay. I think they're not going to cancel this and have March Madness, okay. right? And, but they're not going to, and I don't think they're going to cancel March Madness, but keep this. I think they're going to cancel NCAA sports. But I would have thought that with the... Uh, they would have done it by now? Well, I would have thought when conference tournaments started going Well, the, the, here's the thing, though. Conference tournaments started, what, that... that ball started rolling this morning yeah nca is not going to be like wake up in the morning see it and be like all right tweet it out we're done yeah they're going to meet today i'm sure they're currently in a meeting discussing what they're going to do yeah they're talking about hey when do we need to make a decision by and i think by end of day today they're probably going to have an announcement okay. whether they're going to talk about it's still going on or canceling that's what yeah. i think no i think that that coaches me that we've been hearing about is the the key yeah. moment because we can get updates about the press conference but i, think but I really think though the coaches meeting, I think the people are going to tell the co coaches, hey, we're just waiting for Mark Emmer to tell us what to do. Yeah, yeah. Right, because he's in charge. We'll certainly ask, so. I mean, are there any NCAA events happening right now as we speak? I know, like, skiing was happening. Did that, did that start today? I mean, I guess it started this weekend. I've just been looking at the, i got to be honest, I'm yeah, not the, up on NCAA skiing. You should know this stuff, man. I can't believe I asked you that question thinking been, you'd have an answer. I've been checking. I'm sorry. Been, I know a lot of sports have been canceled. I do not know about that. I've just been basically glued to my phone trying to figure out what's going on. I thought last night we might get called back, but we didn't. I When we landed, I was looking at my phone being like, we're about to find out the meet's canceled literally right when we got on the plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But luckily it wasn't. If it does get canceled, what do we do? Talk to some teams. I do the teams all just leave today. They're going to be here till sun till Saturday night. I don't. I mean, I don't know about you, but I would. They're all going to get their flights. I'd rather changed. not. I'd rather not get in a fight with the airlines about coming back one day earlier. I would just like just chill, sit in the hotel, do some content, and then go back. I don't know. I mean, I guess it would be. So we try to do an unofficial meet. You could go we go could to go. the outdoor track and get some altitude. I mean, I outdoor qualifiers for a meet that's not going to exist. I rode a bike well behind Wayne Kaladi on a bike trail here. I could take people out there and show them what's up. If it does get canceled, we should organize like a meetup run where okay. we can all gather and then run. together and run apart, six feet apart. <laughs> six feet apart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Gordon, how you doing up there? Yeah. Uh, anything else before we close Dive. out? Yeah. Well, do you, if the meet does go on, yeah. In a, in a scenario where meet does go on. Do you think this whole situation is going to affect the runners in any way, mentally or physically? I think they're so dialed in to what's going on, right? Like, I think... Now, when they start seeing some of their sporting heroes tweeting about it, like in the NBA or in other sports, yeah. then it probably started to seep in a little bit. But I think in general, they're so singularly focused. And it's like there's no precedent for this. Yeah. Like, I'm having trouble processing this and putting it into context, and I'm much older than... Yeah. than all these athletes here. So I, I just think in the absence of that, you do what you know, and what they know is to, to run and compete with their team, and then they go after it. It'll be a little weird that there's no family in the stands because maybe a lot of them are used to having friend, you know, familiar one, yeah. faces. Yeah, and this place is only supposed to be, what, a third full now, so. I mean, the family thing, know. yeah, there is family here, but like a lot of these athletes aren't, probably don't have family here. Because as, like. As we're recording, people can't see it on here, but one of the handrails. There's a worker going handrail by handrail. Cleaning everyone. So they're doing their thing. Yeah. I mean. It makes me think they should do this stuff all the time. Yeah. But here's the thing. Do you think it's going to impact the athletes? Mentally, I think so. I think they're going to be thinking about it because I think they're warming up kind of thinking like, do I really, am I really going to have to race tomorrow? I guess that's part I think of they it, all yeah. feel like alternates. You know what I mean? You know that alternate feeling when you, when you go to a meet I mean, and you know you're was, not you know you're not running on the four x four, but you still have to warm up with the four x four. Okay. Just in case someone gets hurt. That's I feel a good like that's way to these put people it. are all just like, I know I still got to do my pre meet, but 
there's yeah. a chance I'm probably not doing it. You know. I think every runner's been in a situation where yeah, either your alternate or like the meet might be canceled because there's lightning yeah. and you're warming up and you're trying to figure it out. This is much more serious and there's just this, there's like a pall of indecision and anxiety over like the whole world right now and that's going to seep in. But I just think, I don't know, once they get, I could just see, I, we'll find out when we go to the press conference, but I could just see a lot of the athletes being like, trust the process, control, you yeah. can control, go out and execute. Do you think there's a chance Friday happens, but then Saturday that doesn't? Saturday, yeah. That would be crazy. That's, that's, that would be rough. And I think that's what they want to avoid, right? Because what would be the situation where that would have to mean that something in the area happens where someone's testing positive at that point, right? I would think. No, I think that would only happen if because Mark Emmer doesn't make his decision until Saturday morning. I just, I find it hard to believe that no people haven't laid a schedule out in front of him with a calendar and he knows when things start and stop and he needs to be like... But his decision is not, he's not thinking about this me. He's thinking about... The amount of money, the TV contract, I'm going to lose for March Madness. Yeah, right. but I'm saying... Or maybe, you know what they actually might be doing? They might be already knowing they're going to cancel it, but they're taking this time to kind of figure out how to still hold it, like, in May. Mm-hmm. Like, because that's a very logistical... You can't just say, yeah, we're going to do it in May, and not think about, like, is it actually possible to do it in May? Yeah. With, like, all that... So I think that could be it. I think... That was never... I So the NBA, I assume, would pick up and go on, just because they have a lot more runway. Yeah. With college, I just assume if it's off, it's off. That's what I always thought. But, like, you know, they could delay two months and be I like, think a lot of these kids' schools are canceled. They're going to come back and just have them practice. Like, uh, like yeah. are the schools even open? It's true. I just it's think the it's college so- aspect of it makes it harder. Yeah. I just think the most, the, the spring sports are in trouble yeah. across the board. Uh, professional, it's a little different because you just move stuff around. That's, that's, that's the only obligation is the health and safety of, of their employees, but they're not worried about academic calendars and yeah. not worried about the sports. So. Do you think eligibility will change because of this? Do you think all these athletes will get indoor eligibility back again? I think my gut reaction or my quick reaction is to say, yeah, they should get it back because they weren't allowed to compete at the highest level. But I'm sure in an hour or two days, there's going to be some you know, some chain of reaction effect I didn't think of that is like that reason why that wouldn't work. But well, right now, initially, like the way I, it wouldn't work, is they would probably not have enough money for like scholarships. Scholarship right? that, yeah, you just well, you just hold them over. I guess you hold them over, right? It's like you're giving everybody a six-year medical redshirt or whatever. Or a Olympic. What team would that help the most? <laughs> I'm so far away from that. I don't know. Tyler Day will be back for for another year. Yeah, I'll help yeah, them out. yeah. I don't, and then I, they get to add in Nico Young and just, Drew Bosley and Brody yeah, that's Hasey. Impressive that you got the standing. They'll, you. they'll go from ten walk. entries here. Add three more. Thirteen entries. Okay. They'll get the DMR finally. I admire. Your, 2021 is the year of NAU, guys. I'm really admiring your optimism and your commitment to the take. I'm sure that's what Mike Smith's thinking about. He's like, hey, we can preserve Tyler Day's eligibility. This is media seating at Madison Square Garden this morning. No one there. Show, so, show the people. Oh, well, there's I, a camera. Wait, so is this, this is two hours ago. Well, that's for the Big East, yeah, before oh, okay. they canceled They it. canceled it, so yeah. it's, it's, not, it's not relevant. Not that big deal. Anyway, anyway. I just want to share the picture. I thought it was interesting. So I guess we'll hold off on like previewing and talking about the meet because we don't know if it's happening. Why don't we do, we'll go to the press conference, we'll wait till after the 4 p.m., and then we'll reconvene. So we're going to have to post this one quick. Are you, are you ready for this? I'm ready to post as okay. fast as possible. All right, so this is, we'll get this up, uh, and then tune back in later on tonight, and we'll have an updated pod. So Sounds double good. pod. Bye. Talk to you guys soon.